wow yesterday i watched this very powerful and touching video on daman's channel about a teenager who lost his dad to suicide and he was really struggling with so much pain and anger i was following the story learning and even predicting some upcoming moments you know but little did i know that tears were gonna flow from my eyes because these are real issues of life and we need to have meaningful conversations about them. Let's have a look at this clip. See you after the clip. The store has zero tolerance policy for theft. I understand, sir. I do and I know my son is so, so sorry. He has a new phone. I'm not sure why he stole it. Well, he's not, is he? He's dead. Richie. What? It's true. <laughs> Why would I listen to someone who decided to... I think it's time for me to tell you the real reason why he did what he did. You see... I don't care! There is no reason that I'll ever be good enough. Now, as if that was not enough, he was bullied in school by another learner who made fun about his dad's passing. He called him a loser and he said he's just like his dad who went over the bridge to commit suicide, you know? Can you imagine that? Being bullied for the very same thing that you are mourning about. That triggered so much anger and pain in the boy and he went on to defend himself, beat up the learner and injured him. Of course now the lad was in trouble and thank God he was pardoned for his offense and then he was mandated to go for 10 sessions of therapy, after which his matter would be wiped off so that he doesn't serve any jail time. Hectic, right? Can you imagine the trauma that this lad had to go through? Check this out. So you're gonna give up on all your dreams because your dad- It's your turn. Richie. I don't wanna talk about my dad, okay? I hate him. Hate is a strong word. Sorry. I never would have guessed you went through that. Yeah, well, it's really hard for me to move on. And clearly, I haven't fully yet. But one day I was watching the movie Rocky, and there was a quote that just stuck with me. Rocky says, life, it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. So that's how I try to live my life. Try to move forward no matter how hard I get hit. I don't know how to do that. Well, it would help a lot if you could find peace in forgiving your father, which won't be easy. I mean, it was really hard to forgive myself after I lost Emily. But I told myself, if I moved on, I could help save other kids like you. But sometimes I ask myself if I'm even making any difference at all. I believe that having tough conversations with our children is necessary and it will help to prepare them mentally for the challenges of life. Imagine being bullied about your dad who committed suicide. How frustrating is that and how detrimental can that be to someone's well-being, mental well-being to be precise. Imagine if the boy didn't go through therapy, which was so helpful. What kind of a man was he going to grow up to be and how much more pain was he going to continue causing to others around him? Did you also notice how he opened up to the therapist? That was after the therapist was also vulnerable and shared his own loss because he felt like therapy was not going to help him. And he went on to say to the therapist that he himself he can deal with his own demons. You know, when you're hurting, ever heard of this, that hurting people hurt others? Parents, let's have relatable and tough conversations with our children because they are not always going to be those little children. And by them being children doesn't mean that they do not have anything meaningful to offer to our relationships. When we carry them along through our challenging moments of life, just like we carry them along when the going is good, we will actually find out 
how much of great encouragers and teachers children are. They possess emotional intelligence too, not just intellectual intelligence. And there are reasons why we are in each other's lives. Yes, we are raising them, but I believe that different relationships exist so that we can build and shape one another. Let's check the last clip and call it a wrap. Hey, honey. How was you? Why do you do it? I'm sorry. The other day, you were... You were trying to tell me what happened. I want to know now. Your dad had cancer, Reggie. The doctors gave him three months to live. That's why he was coughing all the time and in and out of the hospital. As he got closer, his whole appearance started to change. He got so skinny and frail. He still didn't worry about himself. He was so worried about you seeing him that way. That he... He... Didn't he still think he was dying? He didn't know how. He loved you so much. He never ever wanted to see you sad. Do you think it was fair for the boy to find out about the cause of his dad's death only after the passing? Why am I even asking this? I love asking some questions. I'm a lifelong learner. We are living in a real life which presents us with real issues and challenges. Parents, if we are thinking that our children are going to see only our well-to-do side of life, we must think again. We must understand that our children are human, just like us. So the father knew that he was dying because of cancer and he didn't want the son to see him in a frail state. I can relate to the dad's pain too, but imagine if he would have had that conversation with the son and opened up to him, just to make him to understand that life will not always be a bed of roses. And just to make him realize that even the strong dads can be challenged with chronic or terminal diseases. They can lose jobs. They can be retired early and the list goes on. I know we love our children and we always want to protect them, but we cannot pretend that life is all perfect because they are also growing up and they are already dealing with some challenges to a certain level of degree, whatever the age they are at. And they're still growing and they will still face many different types of challenges. So avoiding to talk about the challenges that we are going through will also make them not to be open with us when they are challenged too, because we are acting like we are anti-challenge. What if the sun was actually going to be the dead strong pillar? Because we all possess different strengths, right? Carrying our children along when we are going through challenging moments is not a sign of weakness, but it's because we are human and it's good to be relatable. Remember, we are in relationships. When we are going through challenging things and don't talk about them, we are only creating an environment of perpetual pain by hating each other even more. Nobody knows it all, and therefore we need each other. Wow, I can go on and on about this share because the lessons are just so much. But let me stop right here. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section or your experiences or anything that you would want us to learn. And if you find my content inspiring, kindly subscribe, like, and press the notification button so that you don't miss out on any new uploads. I appreciate you a lot. Cheers.